spins me. I mentioned it, I teased it earlier to finish though. There's a fourth down play in the Super Bowl that really yeah. determined the it outcome. It was an all-out blitz. And okay. one of the players told me it was called a bomb blitz, and that's oh, why yeah. I brought it up, but I don't know. But that uh, Steve Adwater and uh, uh, the backup cornerback, and I'm trying to... Uh, it wasn't his chicken, name. was it? No, I wasn't. It was a, I wasn't. Sh was it? Was it nickelback uh, kind of... Hill, uh, Anyway, they cli Randy Hillier. Randy, Randy Hillier. They collided, they collided on the third, collided, and they were both and they were out, 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 and yeah. they were taken off the field. Yeah. Uh, Steve uh, told me later, you know, he's waking up as the fourth down play happens. So it's fourth and six at 31. They're still in the game. They got enough time to score there, and uh, I assumed you had to call the play, or it was yeah. I, I called the blitz, and it was an all-out blitz. It was an all-out blitz. And uh, Brett Favre gets rid of the ball pretty quickly because he knows we're coming after him. And I see John Mobley, you know, cut underneath the receiver and bat down that ball. And that was it. That was it. Yeah. And you know, right here is the ring. And that game, that play, that high was the greatest feeling I ever had playing the game of football. Wow. Do you share Alfred Williams' feelings at all that he wanted to make the last play? Did you want to make the last play? Oh, I think all <laughs> 11 who were on that field, and that's what it was about that team. It was about trust. And it wasn't like you look to your right and you're hoping that guy was going to make the play or to your left. It was like, okay, I'm going to make this play. But we had 11 guys with that attitude, that we were all going to make the play. And throughout that season, to make that run, it seemed like there was always different guys, whether it be Darian Gordon, Steve Atwater, there was always somebody coming up making big plays. Yeah, Alfred that's Williams, why, Neil that's Smith. That's why I emphasize on that play is that Keith the, Trailer. you're sitting there, you, you were the captain of the defense, you're calling the plays. And you look down, and two of your guys have gone down. It's fourth down, and they have to. Call, you have to. You, the Broncos had to call a timeout. It's an injury timeout, and yeah. the, the, I think that's the Broncos' last timeout. And you have enough time to think about. <laughs> Hello, when you say we know, that, I know this guy's going to make a play. <laughs> you got two guys coming off the bench and don't, don't play. Yeah. I mean, what was? Do you have any concept of what you were thinking at that point of? That's we're screwed or, or whatever. But. That mentality, as soon as the call came in from Greg Robinson of an all-out blitz, we knew Brett Favre was going to have to get rid of the ball fast. So that can take the pressure off the defensive backs to have to cover too much. It's now who can come up and make that play, whether it be one of us blitzing a defensive lineman uh, who's coming. We know we're going to bring too many for them to block. Okay. But in the purpose also, we are talking about Rodgers, <clears throat> is to make sure, because Brady will pull it down quick and go off run, that if the blitz comes, that he's going to have to make a decision to throw. He's well, got to throw it, it's all about your lanes and making sure everyone's taking care of their responsibility and not creating lanes for him to get through and get downfield. Because when Rodgers gets out of the pocket, He's looking to throw the ball. Um, that particular pet play with Brett Favre, you know, he stayed in the pocket, and I'm glad he did, and threw that ball. Billy, always great to see you, man. All right, great Enjoy to see the you weekend. Guys. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Okay. When you go to buy a car, what do you really want? You probably want a lot of cars to choose from, and you want the dealership's best price. Not some starting price or target price, the best price, and you want it immediately, not after hours of negotiating. And you want a salesperson who doesn't get paid more if you spend more. Because, well, you don't want to spend more. Well, you're in luck. John Elway wants all of those things, too. Better yet, John Elway wants you to have all of those things, too. Come see us or click on johnelwaychevrolet.com.